that there is some function of yn is introduced where n is 1 2 whatever but n is not equal to 0 had it been it would it would have uh, make it a linear differential equation in Bernoulli equation what we do we try to reduce it to the linear differential equation we'll just see how so dy by dx plus p y q uh, what I do I multiply uh, mm, divide by y to the power n so this becomes 1 by y to the power n this is now what I do I put a substitution that is y to the power 1 by n is equal to t that means 1 by n dy by dx is equal to dt by dx and uh, here what is the value 1 minus n minus 1 so the same thing only dt by dx and we have to bring this in the pt is equal to q now always remember in first order linear differential equation or whether you study second order differential equation the coefficient of this dt by dx has all the to the 1 if you make the mistake the integrating factor will come wrong so what you do you send it here all right can't we see that this has been reduced into linear form yes it has been reduced into the linear form so what would be the general solution for this general solution is p into integrating factor into q times 1 by n dx okay and uh, why have we forgotten about integrating factor dx so integrating factor is e to the power p integral p 1 by n dx you can find it out like this so with this we have uh, sort of uh, done with the theoretical part only uh, these days uh, one of the formats is that they are giving uh, this format that suppose x to the power alpha y to the power beta is an integrating factor of m y uh, d x plus n x d y format the same commonsensical uh, thing is that you multiply it with this take its partial derivative equate solve uh, that linear equation and solve so there is nothing much left in this we will uh, merely take those uh, questions so if any of you have any doubt in this theoretical concept because I have uh, done with this uh, uh, theoretical portion on, uh, in this unit so we will uh, start we have already done uh, questions uh, I will take some of the questions uh, all right so first question I will uh, like to take a Bernoulli itself so question is x dy by dx plus y log y is equal to x y e to the power x just now we have studied about Bernoulli so what we do that we divide this equation thoroughly by x y so this becomes d by dx 1 by y plus log y is equal to e to the power x and here we have left with x na? because x y x y only yeah. now I put the substitution log y is equal to t so 1 by y dy by dx is equal to how much dt by dx ok so this gives me dt by dx plus t by x is equal to e to the power x this has uh, made it what linear differential equation so we will find its solution the solution is first we will find the integrating factor integrating factor is e to the power 1 by x dx is equal to e to the power ln x 
statistics. Okay, so our solution is t into x is equal to integrating factor is x. So we if we just find its uh, what we call it as uh, we find the uh, its partial uh, this uh, by integration by parts. So this value was how much log y. So log y is equal to e to the power x x minus 1 by x plus c by x. All we have to do is just check this value by integrating my parts. This is x e x minus of e x dx. This is x e x minus e x. Okay. So that is fine. So this is a, this was a civil services question already asked and uh, uh, some more questions on these lines you can uh, do in the assignment because those questions are already there in your assignment. You can do all of those questions. I will just take uh, some exemplary questions. Now, I will take a linear question that is dy by dx plus y cos x is equal to half sin 2x. Okay. Again, this is a linear differential equation. Integrating factor has to be found out. What is the integrating factor? Integrating factor is e to the power cos x integral itself. So this is e to the power sin x. All right. So what is the solution? Solution is y into integrating factor. The integral of integrating factor into q. What is q? We can write this as 2 sin x cos x dx. So this get cancelled. What we get? I take sin x as t, so cos dx, uh, cos x dx become dt, and sin x is t itself. Again, use that uh, integration by parts and get the answer. So answer is sin x minus one plus c e to the power minus sin x minus one. Now. It represents a family of curve.